Hello, this is Tom from Tom and Harmonica and uh, I just want to apologize for missing out on uh, the last couple of weeks of lessons. Uh, had some family stuff going on, uh, but now I am back on track and ready to uh, bring you some harmonica stuff. And first of all, I just want to uh, thank you all for uh, getting us to that 50,000 subscriber uh, number, which is really exciting and uh, kind of just happened uh, w without me noticing it and then uh, it was a nice little uh, thing to celebrate. So thank you very much for watching and subscribing and all that. It's much appreciated. Okay, so today's harmonica lesson um, is going to give you a strategy for uh, getting your three draw whole step bend in tune because this is something that a lot of students really struggle with either they can't get it in tune or they think they can get it in tune but they're not sure if it's in tune um, and maybe you've started using a chromatic tuner to check whether you're in tune um, and all it tells you is that you're out of tune and you have trouble really knowing how to hit that sweet spot so this is this is a really uh, kind of quick and dirty method to get honed in on that three draw whole step bend Okay, so first of all, I want to play the three draw whole step bend on my C harmonica. Okay, now if I don't know what that's supposed to sound like, how can I work it out? Well, first of all, you need to know what note that is actually going to be. So that note is going to be an A. So at that stage, I can think, okay, well, what harmonicas can I play an A note on without bending? And I will take out my A harmonica and I'll say, well, I'm going to play the four blow because that is an A. And that's the note that I'm trying to hit with the three draw whole step bend. So jumping between those two helps me to hear A, whether I'm in tune and uh, B, it gives my mouth a little bit of uh, the sensation of what it's like to resonate at that frequency, which is a really important aspect of, of learning how to bend in tune. So what you can do is you can keep jumping between the two harmonicas. And if you play it a little bit out of tune, you'll hear it. That's not the same note. That's the same note. So that helps you to uh, learn what the note should sound like and it'll give you instant feedback as to whether it's in tune or not. Uh, so that you can do with all keys. Uh, so let's try it uh, on an A harmonica. So on your A harmonica, you have an F sharp when you bend down to the three draw whole step bend. Okay, so you can play an F sharp on a D harmonica on the two blow. Okay, and let's do that now on the D harmonica. So on the D harmonica, if I'm playing a three draw whole step bend, I'm gonna be playing um, a B note, which I can play on a C harmonica on the three draw. Okay, so you can do this for all keys of harmonica and I have actually put together a little cheat sheet for you which you can download by clicking on the link below. So I'm not going to uh, play any more harmonicas for you because you, you get the idea. Um, this is a really, really powerful tool but you do need to make sure that you go cleanly from the, the reference note on the harmonica that you're not bending on to the bent note uh, or thereabouts on the harmonica that you want to bend on. Uh, if you struggle finding the hole on the harmonica, so if, for example, we did that uh, three draw again um, on, the, uh, on the C harmonica to then play the three draw whole step bend on the D, if we did that, but it was more like this, see, I played the wrong hole when I came back to the D harmonica, and by the time I actually got to the right hole and the right bend, I'd lost the reference pitch in my mind. So you really need to get comfortable jumping straight between them. That's really, really crucial, okay? So I have put together, like I said, a little chart for you to use 
um, for all 12 keys of harmonica. So you can work out the three draw, whole step bend, and a reference pitch on a different harmonica. Um, obviously, once you start getting into slightly more uncommon keys like E flat or D flat or F sharp, uh, you're going to start needing more and more harmonicas to be able to do it. Uh, so I would focus on, on the six main keys, uh, the six most useful keys, which are C, A, D, G, B flat, and F. And that will cover most of your bases. And with those six harmonicas, you'll be able to use uh, all of those six harmonicas as reference harmonicas for all the three draw whole step bends on each of them. All right, so that's just a little trick for you to uh, perfect your three draw whole step end. So if you wanna get that chart, just click on the link in, in the description below. But before you do that, you can do a little something for me. You can uh, give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so already. Subscribe to the channel because I put out new lessons every week and uh, hit the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button because uh, that means that you'll also get notified when those new lessons come out. All right, thank you very much and happy harping.